Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you for joining us tonight in our never-ending search once again for the Frank Thomas No Name on Front error card. Tonight we're back with the box of cello once again. I've had this one sitting around for the last couple weeks, just taunting me, so I figure what better time than now to rip into this. And hopefully you guys are having a little bit of a better Monday than I am. I definitely have an, I'm having a case of the Mondays, and I will tell you why. About 20 minutes ago, I lost an auction for a card I've been after for quite a while that I'm sure you've probably heard me talk about many times, the Mark Witten 91 Tops error card. Definitely been one of my radar for quite a while. And the guy that listed this listed it as Mark White. <laughs> so I think that's why there wasn't that much attention on the card to begin with. And it started out at like... I don't know, I think it was like a dollar or five bucks, and it remained that way for the last like five or six days. And then finally, uh, like yesterday or whatever, somebody bid it up. I put a high bid in like 65 and I want to say, because like these were like selling before for like almost a hundred bucks, not graded, and uh, got beat out for it. So to whoever beat me on that card, I am shaking my fist at you from Pennsylvania. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get one sometime soon. So thanks, guys, for, guys, for being here. I'm going to waste no more time, and we'll be ripping into this cello box. Classic, or uh, Jem at Mantle says, uh, what was the air? What's up, Classic Cards and everybody else? The air card on this, uh, his hands are outside the border. That is the air. See that? This card is must be pretty rare because they continuously fetch, like, high amounts, um, like... Usually around 100 bucks, even for ones that aren't slabbed. So I don't know how many are out there, but I know I have a box of 91 tops sitting on a shelf like five feet away. And it's just, that's also taunting me. And there's Mike5041 says, Got your package today, John. Thanks again. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, man. Hopefully you enjoy what was in there. I tried to throw together a bunch of rookies. Hopefully you didn't have all of them. But thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. We got, uh, 24 cello packs here. Like I said, these are off eBay. I got these like a few weeks ago. And we struck out before Christmas. Didn't find the no name on front. We did find like a couple of Thomas rookies, but no error card. But I'm not giving up just yet. I don't know if I'll continue this search after tonight or not. One can only look at so many 1990 tops in a short amount of time. But... We're going to try our luck again tonight. Chris Weaver, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. All of you guys, hopefully you're having a good start to 2020. And there's Austin Farmer with the poop emoji. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you for being here, Austin. And right on top, we got a Nolan with a gum, gum piece stuck to him. It's also, I mean, there's other different variations of air cards in here, too. You guys have probably heard me talk about those. There's a Juan Gonzalez rookie card. Rob Pedrick says, had one years ago, ended up selling it. Ah, jeez. I'm definitely curious to know how much you got for it. Yeah, I've been after this one for quite a while, but uh, I've never gone to the extent of buying a crap load of boxes and searching for it until recently. Rob says he got 700 bucks for the 91 front. That's pretty awesome, though. And Albert Bell, second tops card. First one was in 89 tops traded, I believe. I think he had a card in that. Paul L says 90 tops traded would have been a better set of Bernard Gilkey rookie, isn't it? Yeah, he did not make the cut. I want to say he has a rookie in 90 Bowman, though. Or is his rookie 91? I can't remember. I want to say he's 90 Bowman. So we've all seen countless amounts of 1990 tops. Jem Mintz, I still like to know when the name on front made Beck and, and what was a price listing. You know what? I completely forgot to look that up. I apologize for that. If anybody else has access to older Beckett's right now or can even find out online somehow, um, we were wondering when the name on front was first listed in Beckett. Like, was it in Mid-1990, it was in 1991. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. James Reynolds says, sure hope we find the card. I hope so too, man. <laughs> JT says, man, wish I had a G.I. Jovid to watch. LOL. 
Hey, Kingler, XST. Yeah, G.I. Joe video will probably come someday. Maybe someday. That TNT video I did, uh, that I made recently didn't, did not, uh, it did very awful. <laughs> like, nobody watched it. So that kind of, kind of, uh, really puts the G.I. Joe video on the back burner. Maybe there's not that many TNT fans out there. Or as many as I think there will be. And there's our good buddy, a.k.a. Bad Omen, Dan Quisenberry. Paul Elsa's, we finally got the TM, TMNT video, can't complain. Dave Durango, well, thank you for uh, watching that video. I know it wasn't all that exciting. I need to think of a better way to spice up these old retro toy videos. Because they can be pretty boring, I guess, compared to ripping packs and not knowing what you're going to find. RMM says, John, did you ever check out Michael Mercy on YouTube? He just released a Storm Shadow video. Really cool stuff. Nah, you know what? I want to say I've definitely seen Michael Mercy. I didn't watch that video yet, though. I will definitely have to check that out. Put it on my list of things to watch. And Mike says, the G.I. Joe video will come as soon as you pull the no name on front. Frank Thomas. Yeah, you can guarantee that, man. And there's Ed Hetherington. It says, I don't have a channel or anything. Just really amazed at you and your brother's knowledge on baseball. Enjoy your videos. Hey, thanks a lot, Ed. I really appreciate that, man. And thank you for being here. Really uh, enjoy hearing that, that you enjoy the videos. Maybe someday uh, you'll be inspired to make your own channel and post some videos on baseball cards and whatnot. Yeah, I figure I haven't done a live stream for a while and uh, I don't know, wasn't really doing much tonight. So I figure, what better time to rip into this? Hey, it's Joe's card corral. Says I feel a plunk coming on. Hoss with cards. What's happening? Just looking for this Frank Thomas. I was actually talking to the guy at the Honey Hole about uh, this card because he knows I'm after it. He's an awesome guy. He uh, always brings in error cards and stuff for me that I'm after. But endless amounts of knowledge. If you guys think I have knowledge about older junk wax cards and you should talk to him because he's definitely a guru but um so i was talking to him about like if i would pull a frank thomas regular name on front right now does that mean i completely eliminate my chances of finding one in the rest of the box he's like i don't think that's necessarily true so you never know we have not seen one yet mike says does the honey hole guy know that you and eric have channels you know i did tell him that uh I have one. I mentioned it to him actually like last week because I was talking to him about um, Junk Wax Jeopardy. <laughs> and he was like intrigued by it. I actually bought I bought the Billy Ripken F-Face card there. The card's like pretty expensive too. It was like 15 bucks. But uh, I was surprised. I bought that to give away as a prize for Junk Wax Jeopardy. If and when that ever happens. I'm going to try to do it this week. But... Um, that's how I like got in the conversation about it. There's Dave Durango it says, keep an eye out for Herm Winningham, no face card. <laughs> Thanks, Dave Durango. Appreciate that, man. If you guys aren't familiar with Dave Durango, you got to check him out. You got to give him a sub. He is the late night host on YouTube. His streams go, I don't know, they usually go about from what, like midnight to like 4 a.m. Very interesting mix of people, conversations, topics, everything else. I try and pop in there when I can, but I feel like usually I'm passed out all the time from work in the morning, but Dave Durango, definitely a good dude and some pretty great screams. And he breaks a lot of old stuff too. Old and new both. So thanks for being here, Dave. And thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. Joe's card cross is wow. Talk about cards after dark. <laughs> yeah. Dave definitely, uh, Brings a new meaning to that, cards after dark. So we're kind of finding nothing that great in here. It's kind of all complete trash. No offense to you, Robin Yount. But um, I haven't even seen Frankie yet. James says, do you sell on eBay? I sell some stuff on there. I don't list that much stuff anymore, though. I, I, I guess I need to get on that. Try to post some more stuff. Usually stuff that I sell on eBay is like things that I come across at flea markets for like a few bucks that I think I can make a few bucks off of, put, put it towards buying more cards or toys. Some people say I have a real problem and I don't deny that. 
Jersey says, funny Daryl Strawberry cards. Uh, I don't think we've seen Strawberry yet. I was actually spending a couple hours today going over my rookie card collection, like organizing it, and I got very exhausted doing that because there is no organization to any of my cards at all. There's literally just crap everywhere. <laughs> that and probably looking at like 100 Sammy Sosa 1990 Fleer rookie cards that I have. I don't know why I have so many, but... I think anyone would be pissed off if they had had that many Sammy Sosa rookie cards because 1990 Fleer is not really a treasured set by any means. Dave Durango says, has COPPA affected your channel? I haven't noticed anything yet. Hype is here. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Paul L says, will there be a turn back the clock Tuesday live stream tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're doing 98 tops. Not real excited. Not real exciting or anything like that. There's some some decent amount of insert sets, reprints, stuff like that you can find. Um, 98 tops series two tomorrow, which there's like really no good rookies in there either. Troy Gloss is probably the only notable rookie and probably one of the only ones actually. But uh, we'll do that tomorrow, and then the next week we're gonna do not or, uh, 93 Bowman Jumbo. Brad G says you're gonna eat some gum. I was waiting for somebody to ask me, so I might as well. Maybe that'll be the good luck that I need to find this Frank Thomas. Mike says, what set is Roy Halladay's rookie in? Roy Halladay's rookie is actually 97. 97 Bowman is probably the best one. <laughs> James Reynolds. Oh, another Dennis Cook ugly-looking card there. Joe's Card Corral says, I tried eating the gum in my latest video. Uh, I don't know if I watched your newest one. I feel like I watched a video from yours a few weeks ago, but unless you posted one after that. I should have that Jeff King autographed. should throw it in the trash because that guy's a pretty big tool bag. Jason Harris is still have nightmares over Dennis Cook. I could definitely relate to that after uh, looking at his 93 upper deck card, the back of it. Hunter says, I got a Bartolo Colon rookie card from 97 Fleur. That's pretty awesome. There's Craig B. says, got to go to work, but I hope you pulled Notre Dame on front. Dave Durango is a man. Craig B., thank you very much, man. Hope you hopefully have a good night at work. Thank you for stopping in. Delonda Shields was a huge prospect in 1990. Or pulling that car of a pack and thinking that I was like coolest kid around, I guess. This uh box is absolute trash <laughs> so far. That and that gum was pretty filthy. I had it in there for quite a while. Mike says, I found a numbered Felipe Vasquez. Should I burn it or shred it up? Oh, that's a tough decision. Maybe, like, put it in a paper shredder. That'd be kind of fun. John Boy just did a video of Bartolo Home Run. I didn't see that. John Boy's awesome, though. You know, I don't even think I'm subscribed to John Boy. I just, like, it's always on suggested videos. Trying to like make this gum in the trash can, but I have Zolo cases blocking the top of it, so they're just shattering off the side and going onto the floor. <laughs> Not that you can really tell because you can't see the floor in here. There's a Deion Sanders second year card. Marquise Grissom was definitely a big one. This this Roger Craig card, somebody was selling at the flea market like a, like a month ago for like a hundred bucks. Maybe that's like the new uh, Alex Madrid card. Something I don't know about there. Spike Owen looking like he is high on life or something else there. Ah, no Frankie. And we're getting low. Maybe that's a good thing. Joe's card cross is a hate manager card. I never really cared for him either. Never cared for him. And finally we found a rookie card here. Bernie Williams. Not a high dollar one, but still pretty cool. And the A. Bartlett Giamatti. Jason Harris's Roger Craig rookie year was the creation. <laughs> Him and Charlie Hop both. Yeah, we have... 
this Atley Hammaker, I don't know if I remember ever seeing that card in this set. Is that like a Mandela effect right there? That's kind of weird. There's a Don Zimmer manager card for you, Joe's card Carell. I, I'm like so burnt out on 1990 Tops. Like I started uh, trying to sort through these yesterday, like all the boxes that I opened to like put sets together. So God help me on that, I'm trying to put sets together because I probably have like five of them. But um, boy, is it boring. RMM says, Marquise Grissom played at Florida A&M in college. Guess the Hall of Famer who also played there. Uh, I have no idea off the top of my head. I'm terrible. Pretty terrible at trivia questions. Frank Deese is Grand Slam in the All-Star Game Hammaker. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing that card, though. Really weird. Todd Zeal, another huge one back in 1990. Dick Hauser. Yeah, I finally see a Ripken. Like, we haven't really even seen that many Hall of Famers in here other than, like, a bunch of old managers. Somebody might have been uh, digging through these long ago. Hype is here, says me either, now that you say it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's definitely, uh, definitely one for the Mandela effect forms. Normally this gum is, like, cemented on these cards, but tonight it just keeps popping off. Paul also is digging through for Griffey scab cards. We haven't even seen the Griffey scab card yet, or the corrected one. Ozzy Smith, Smoltz. Yeah, maybe it'll be uh, good for us. Finally see a Nolan Ryan... Strikeouts card, Baines. All the Hall of Famers are in one pack together here. What a trash box. Hobbyist, what's up? Arthur Brooks' first chat ever. Well, thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to find this freaking air card again. And uh, so far... Like everyone probably expected, <laughs> we have not seen it. And we haven't even seen a Frank Thomas regular rookie card yet. A nice Nolan Ryan. I always like those cards. are pretty cool. Joe Mansman, thank you, man. Have not seen Eric Plunk either. That's true. We've seen a lot of Tongue of the Roosters, though. Another Roger Craig... So that'll be up on eBay tomorrow for 100 bucks if anyone's interested. i got to match that price at the flea market. <laughs> they had, like, Ken Griffey Sr., 1990 Fleer for, like, 120 bucks. So if anyone's looking for good deals on early 90s cards, I can definitely give you a place. Hobby Searcher. Thank you, man. It says, two bucks for luck in finding that no-name Frank. I really appreciate that, Hobby Searcher. Please take a second, check him out. Give him a sub. If you would be so kind. Hopefully uh, your well wishes help us out tonight. Because we need some help. Any Bennis. So Classic Cards is a great channel as well. If you guys aren't subbed to Classic Cards, definitely check them out. His videos are awesome. He does a lot of um, older pack rips on there. Greg Jeffries. <laughs> Michael Heath is still hunting for it, I see. Yeah. Old habits die hard. Polly Jungwax. What's up, man? LA Collection. Thank you for being in here, man. LA Collection also has an awesome channel, so check him out, too. Lots of uh, good dudes in here tonight. Todd Zeal again. Seen a lot of repeat cards here but we're not seeing any good ones we want we even found a sosa haven't seen a larry walker the larry walker rookie card must be like really hard to pull or something I, I think i've pulled like one out of the last five boxes stoff sports says good luck dude the name on front is my white whale thanks man i appreciate that yeah it's definitely one that i've wanted for quite some time but like i was saying earlier i uh never really Went out and bought boxes that he's looking for years ago, like I probably should have. I definitely started real late in the game, and 
<laughs> it's probably nearly impossible to find now. And the thing that sucks about that is that it's not like these boxes aren't like typical junk wax boxes where um, you can find them for five bucks a piece like you can with like, you know, 90 Fleer and 90 Don Russ and stuff like that. These are usually like 30 bucks a pop. And sometimes like, I don't know, cello packs, the jumbo rack packs with more money, like, I don't know, 50 sometimes. All because of this dreaded error card. <laughs> so it's a tough pill to swallow paying 50 bucks for 90 tops, but also fun too, though. Nadij says, I just received an 89 upper deck, Fleer and Don Russ and Griffey, PSA 10, rookies, whoop, whoop, Merry Christmas. That's freaking awesome, man. Congrats. The Griffey 89 upper deck was like one of the first cards I bought whenever I got back in the hobby, like, like 2014. I think I paid like 25 bucks for it, which seems to be like still the going rate for an unslab one, like 25, 30 bucks, somewhere in there. But we're like really getting shafted on this box, so <laughs> there's like nothing in here. LA Collection says, Happy New Year to the Jazz Brothers. Thanks, LA Collection. Appreciate that, man. Like I was saying earlier, please uh, check out LA and give him a sub. There's a lot of vintage stuff too, and uh, really cool guy all around. I always see him in, in the live streams and whatnot. And Jason Harris has just got back into collecting. First card I bought was 83 Sandberg. That's sick. I always love that A3 Sandberg. There's Greg Jeffries' gold cup card again. Nadij says, are you opening a card shop? You know, that was like my big goal when I was a little kid was to open a card shop. Like I said before, I used to like, I don't know, run like a DIY shop out of my house. Johnny's card shop. And I uh, would sell to like neighborhood kids. I'd like sell my doubles and stuff like that. And then uh, I did that from the time I was like four years old to the time I was like 14. And then I went on to like do like other stuff, teenager stuff, and turn my back on collecting baseball cards for a long time. I don't know if I'd ever had the means to open a card shop. That would be awesome though. I'm trying to get caught on some of these comments. There's Jay's opening. It says, good luck, John. Thank you, man. That's our buddy Jay Hadley. He just started channel like this past week and uh, I know he's definitely trying to build it up so please click on that super chat give Jay Hadley a uh, a sub there Jay's openings great guy I think he has two videos up so far um, but we have a Frank Thomas I can see it already shilling second year ah oh, come on every freaking time come on Still love this card regardless. This one is off-center pretty bad, but Frankie, kill me, man. Freaking kill me. I'm going to drop dead at some point. Dave Dranger says, holy crap, thought it was it. So did I, man. Like, his name is over so far. I guess, like, a lot of them are, but his is, like, I don't know. I guess it's, like, typical. Robert Anderson says, wow, at least you pulled a Frank. Yeah, it's cool we got, we did get one. <laughs> that sucks that wasn't the name on front, but, I mean... Like I said before, you I probably have a better chance of getting struck by lightning, like, I don't know, in your house than, like, pulling that card out of a pack. But, like, like I said, like, that card's been servicing lately. Like, two people pulled it in the last, like, month. JT says, you had me, John. <laughs> I had myself, man. Yeah, two people pulled it, one guy out of a case. Sealed wax packs and the other guy out of a box of wax. Maybe I need to go back to wax packs, but they're so easy to search. So, like, I don't know. 30 bucks for a wax box that's probably searched is, I don't know, tough to fathom. I mean, this, I mean, these could be searched, too. I just feel like it's harder to search the actual cellophane packs. Hunter Beasts, is dealing with rookie cards from 2019 tops? I definitely do have, a, have quite a few. When I went on my binge of buying newer cards, I don't know what got into me. Slob's baseball collecting says Schilling looks so different when he was younger. No doubt about it. What did he get? Like, uh, Schilling got what, like 65% of the vote this year, I think, for Cooperstown? I want to say it was like maybe it was 70. I can't remember. I think Bonds got like 75. I'm trying to get caught up in these comments again. We got the last pack here. Jay's opening says thanks to hobbyists. Yeah, people are summoning Jay's openings. Definitely check him out. 
There's that Marquise Grissom that was a uh, sought-after card in 1990. Hobby Searcher said he's currently at 74. That's pretty wild. And also Ben McDonald, LA Collection says you could do it. <laughs> you could do it, John. And Jem Mintz is no name on front right now. Hopefully it's enough to actually surface him. Danny Martinez with that. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Anytime you see him, you know that it's nothing good is in store for us. Uh, that's the first bonds we saw. I always like that bonds, regardless. Uh, Frank Thomas, you screwed us over again. We found the rookie, but no, no name on front. But uh, if you guys want to keep going, why don't we do like an error card night? If you're up for it. Like I said, I have that box in 91 tops, and I want that freaking Mark Witten error card, and I lost it tonight on eBay, so if you want, <laughs> might as well rip some more junk wax from 90 tops to 91 tops, if you want. Error card Monday, that's what I was thinking, Mike. The hell with it, why, why not? We didn't find any of our freaking, anything we're really at. We didn't really find any good rookies either, no Sosa, no Walker. We found the one gone in the first pack. If you guys are down for it, let's do it. James Reynolds says, what did the card sell for? The Witten sold for like 66 I want to say, plus like $3 shipping. Um, but it has sold for like 100 bucks before, like re like in the last couple months. Somebody put one on their buy it now recently for like 50 and I missed out on that. But yeah, let's, uh, let's rip 91 tops. Junk Wax Error Search Monday continues. Let me grab this. If I can swim across the all the junk wax wrappers to get to it here. I think I have one at least buried. Yeah, I do. Let's find this freaking Mark Witten. Such a weird card to go after, too. Like, people ask you, like, what cards you're, like, looking for. Yeah, I'm looking for a Mark Witten 91 tops. <laughs> people be like, what? You know, anything about baseball cards? Like, I feel like a lot of people don't know about the air on it, but I've had this box sitting around for quite a while. This is pretty sick, though. I, I did not have one of these posters. I have, like, a little collage upstairs of different older posters, so that'll be cool with that. Joe's card crosses 91 tops. Don't do it. We have to, man. It's just in, in spite of whoever stole that Witten off me on eBay. It was my fault for being a cheapskate. These, these probably all searched for Trooper Jones rookie, but oh well. See, 91 tops. I loved it back in the day. I absolutely loved it. Brendan S. says, what is the error on it? The Mark Witten... I don't really want to talk about it because everyone's gonna go buy it, and then I won't—I'll never have it. <laughs> but let's see who's on the bottom. We got a Brett, a Dawson, Butler, and Bly Levin. So three out of four Hall of Famers. Let me pull this up again so you guys know what we're going after. Um, Mark Witten Air Card, high value card too. Like I said before, a uh, loose loose ones will still sell for like a hundred bucks. Um, they buy it now. Desert Shield cards are completely different. The packs look identical. That'd be pretty crazy if this was a Desert Shield box. I, would, I don't know what I would do. I would lose it. But this is the one I lost earlier. This is the Mark Witten Air card. Has to be super rare because, like I said, these are still going for high value. But that is the air on here. Is His hand is outside the border. The regular card, it still goes over the inner border, but it doesn't go into the white at all. So this one, as you can see here, I lost. I bid 65. It went for 66 plus almost four hour shipping. I mean, there's some on there now. I think the lowest one on there by now is like, I don't know, 90 bucks or 80 bucks, somewhere like that. But like they do like sell for, sometimes you get lucky and you might see one for like 50 bucks. Like that is not a good sign off the bat. <laughs> Somebody beat me to this a long time ago and searched these packs looking for that card. Oh, that is absolutely filthy. I'll be really pissed off if we find that card and it has a filthy black mold to it. Hey, there's Andrew. says, good luck with the 91 tops opening. Get a clock out. Have a good night. I, I'll have send you a pick of the board I ended up getting once it comes in. Well, thanks, man. Thank you for being here, Andrew. I appreciate it, man. There's Austin Farmer again 
with a mustache emoji. Thank you for that, man. I don't know if that means you're maybe growing a scum stash or maybe you have a mustache now. <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, hey, thank you for that. Yeah, these are, I don't know, some people hate these really bad, but there's a Jose Canseco. I haven't seen a lot of these in a long time. I don't know. I, I don't really, I couldn't tell you the last time I opened a pack of 91 tops, so I might as well. Yeah, definitely do that, Andrew. Appreciate it, man. So I guess you picked one up then. Hey, ABCs need one, two, three. Yeah, these are definitely nostalgic for me too, Opt Optimus Rex. I haven't looked at these in a long time. The very least, hey, look who it is. There's no escaping him. And he is freaking pissed in that picture too. I mean, it's a good sign. Very least we'll find um, Chipper rookie card. Got 90 tops collapsing all around here. <laughs> Dave Durango would be pissed if I was him too. I think he knew in years to come that uh, he'd be talked about very often. Carl Everett rookie is not a bad one for this set at least. Ozzy Ginn. Plunk has no soul. These redemption cards too. I haven't looked at these in a long time. I never really went along with those. Paul Ellis is Carl Everett at a funky batting stance. And Greg Swindell. So, a couple omens there. LA Collection says, does that air also come in Desert Shields? You know, and I was actually just thinking that the other day, too. I've never seen it, so I don't believe so. That'd be pretty crazy if it did, though. The Mark Wooden air in Desert Shield. I haven't gotten any of those in a while. I'm going to start trying to go after some more because, like I said before, I have, like, uh, I don't know, close to 300 of those. I'm trying to put the whole set together. RM says there should be an all-jabs team. Leaned, Wathen, Sabo, Plunk, etc. Jason Harris has always loved the, the old tops with all the stats. Yeah, same here, man. Filthy gum. Nice, uh, big, dirty gum stain. There's a Larkin. <laughs> James R says, dude, I think this box was searched twice. <laughs> it definitely it definitely seems like it, man, but the only hope that I'm holding out for is, like, whoever searched it, maybe they searched it for Chipper and they don't. They didn't know about the Witten Air card. More than likely, I won't find the Witten Air card. Maybe I'm, just, maybe I'm just a pessimist and pissed off because I lost it on eBay earlier, but... I don't know. There's always a chance when you're ripping packs. It's a gamble. But I've, I've had this box sitting in, in, on this shelf for, I don't know, like a freaking probably a year now. So what better time than now, especially after losing that one earlier. Truth be told, what's up? It says, how many Dave Justice Gold Cup cards are pulled? I haven't seen any yet. I did see an oil can Boyd. Not that anyone really gives a shit about him. And yeah, maybe some people do. <laughs> Joe's Card Corral says, I care about Oil Can Boyd. <laughs> I guess I offended a lot of people whenever I said that. Robin Yount. Well, at least they left us the decency of uh, another Greg Swindell. Left, it, left us the decency of um, two Swindell cards. Yeah, his nickname is Sweet. No doubt about it. I used to like that Sandy Almar card. I don't know why. I was definitely a fan of that when I was younger. Jose Offerman, he was definitely a big prospect back then, too. Mike Lieberthal, Harold Baines... And Brett, record breaker. Paul L says, Greg Swindell was somehow still in the majors until 2002. Can't imagine his ERA being very low, even in 2002. There's a Big Mac on the top here. Jason says, Jose Offerman's daughter is an announcer for WWE. That's pretty crazy. There's a McGuire. Cool looking card. Sid Bream, Mike York. And it's a second year, Thomas. 
cool card. I used to like that when I was a kid. No sign of the corrected Mark Witten error card yet. So it's the second year. Not a bad one. Ripken Henderson and Dwight Smith. Always want to go to Wrigley Field, but I never actually made it out there. Hey, there's Chuck Chicago. It says, Jabs, did you get to know him on front? Arrived late. You know what? We did, man. I'm sorry that you missed it. Yeah, we uh we pulled that out of the fourth pack in, and then um we decided to rip open some 91 tops after that to celebrate. So fourth pack in, if you want to go back and check that out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you, man. I'm just kidding. We did not find the name on front, as I'm sure most people expected. So now we are drowning our sorrows in 91 tops looking for the Mark Witten error card that I also lost on eBay earlier and hate myself for it. Mike Classen says, John, have you seen Picks of Sosa lately? You know, I have not. Maybe it's been a couple of years. I think the last time I saw a picture of him, he looked old as hell. I think. Avery, Abbott. I remember that really Willie Randolph card. It's kind of a Interesting one. Dave Steve, Joe's Card Corral's favorite, favorite pitcher of all time. Mike says, John, how many MLB stadiums have you been to? I've only been to Fenway, and that was in 2009. Uh, not that many, honestly, man. Maybe like five or six. Yeah, not that many. Paul else has been to all but Kansas City. That's pretty crazy. Somebody's stuck here. Is it Witten? James Reynolds, you're welcome, man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Bunch of dirty, senile old managers. Joe's Card Corral always enjoys those. And Spanky LaValle on top here. You know, I thought I would uh, miss seeing these cards by going back and opening these packs, but it's kind of like the exact opposite. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to look at them ever again. Probably because, like, we're not getting anything, like, good out of here at all. But, I mean, I guess it's 91 tops. Like, you're not really going to get anyone good out of it. 91 was a decent year for rookies, too. Just, like, most of them didn't make it in this set. Like, they, several of them got into the top straight set. Like, Pudge Rodriguez, 91 rookie, Bagwell. Musina didn't even have a 91 Tops card. Juan Gonzalez, second year. So there was there were some decent ones, but yeah, Chipper is the only one that made it into the regular base set. How does Bernard Gilkey for a second? Kind of looks like Bernard Gilkey, quick glance. Jason Harris is my first time here, but definitely coming back. This is awesome. Everyone was cool. Thank you, Jason. It's good to have you, man. Jim Mint says you should mail tops all the wax stained cards of the Man and Reef. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Make a, make a video about that. Like send them like an angry email. Jay's openings. Yeah, Giambi was also in the 91 tops created set as well. She have that card sitting next to me right now. I forget who sent this to me. Was it Joseph Baumgarten maybe? He's not in here, but uh, Mint 9. Pretty sweet. I like that card. Yeah, some of those other USA, uh, Team USA cards were big money back in early 90s. Or big money to me. Like, I feel like big money to me when I was like, I don't know, seven years old, like, was like two bucks. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I just pulled a freaking $2 card out of a pack. This is crazy. It's big payday. I always like that Clemens card, though. It's pretty sweet. Paul Elsa used to call him Jason Gamby. <laughs> 
that doesn't sound too far off. I feel like I probably did too at one point. Used to butcher everyone's names. Now I do it with new players, so old habits die hard once again. Let's say we're what, like halfway through this box. Ant Head Arts has always liked this set. I did too. It's definitely nostalgic for me. Be nice to see a Chipper Jones. There's a Ripken record breaker. It's a cool card. Maybe there's like some more errors in this set. The Mark Witten's the only one I know about. Steve Bouchel. I never really cared for him when he was on the Buckos. Big Mac again. Chuck Chicago says, come on, let's find one out of two tonight. That would be nice, man. Shane Case says, hey, Jabs, have you heard about the Jose Uribe error card? I have heard plenty about that card over the years. And um, it seems like that craze finally died out for that Jose Uribe. I don't know if it died out then moved on to the Alex Madrid, 89 Don Russ. Or moved on to the <laughs> the Bonds 87 Tops printing error card that people were actually selling on eBay for a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's the eBay was very hyped up, but uh, there is literally nothing special about that card at all. The high value on that's probably about three cents, maybe maybe five cents. But people at one point were selling it for hundred bucks. I don't know more than that. I would you could. You might even still see people on eBay selling it for that price. I don't even know. Originally listed at like $758,000. And there's Chipper Jones, rookie card. Very sweet. Finally. Finally. Alex Fernandez, hot card back in the day. RMM. I definitely remember that too. I was too busy yapping to pay tribute to him. There's an Eddie Murray. 10 cents created. There is Chipper. Nice. It's a pretty good looking one too. Pretty sharp. Austin Farmer says, three cent card. Are you talking about an A-Rod rookie? People are still paying high high dollars for A-Rod's rookie card. Like it was 94 SP at least. The die cut card, Tony Wynn. Kevin Moss, record breaker, Tim Costo. Yeah, people, some people are still after A-Rod's rookie cards. I know I was in 94. I was all about them. Classic cards, box on eBay, just under 400 bucks. Yeah, for 94 SP, I, I love that set. I almost bought it at the Honey Hole. The guy has a set for 20 bucks. I don't have that A-Rod rookie card from my collection, but I hate buying sets and breaking them up. So, But yeah, I thought 20 bucks for 94 SP is a decent deal. But freaking boxes are 400 bucks because if you look up a PSA 10 A-Rod 94 SP, I think they're like, I don't know, 10 grand or something like that. <laughs> like something ridiculous. I don't know why. There's so much money for that card. Take your ten grand and buy the freaking buy a PSA one mantle fifty two instead of buying that freaking A rod. But to each his own, I guess. Pretty crazy though, but it sucks because like I want to open ninety four SP. Like I, I like that set. I used to like opening packs of those, but I'm not gonna shell out four hundred bucks <laughs> to open packs of them. Freaking crazy. Paul also said, pay more for John Hudak 94. <laughs> I believe that. I'll still never forget whenever, uh, what did you won the, you won the 87 Fleer update set and the uh, Swindell was sleeved. It's a Walker second year gold cup. About time we see a freaking Larry Walker after all the 90 tops we opened and not, didn't find any, I don't think. Kevin Apier gold cup card. I don't remember him ever having a gold cup card in this set. It's kind of weird. Not to mention, it looks like he's like playing shortstop or second base in that photo. Another Mandela effect there. Paul also says, I cracked up so hard that I will always cherish this Wendell rookie card. You and uh, Reindeer Studios, I sent him a package like a week or two ago, and he had, I think I put like 587 tops Greg Swindell rookie cards in there. Pascal Perez. He had like some sort of undercover drug operation going on. This box is awful. <laughs> Let me find the Chipper Jones. Andy East is just waiting for a 5,000 count box of Sabos to show up at your door. Hey, I wouldn't doubt that that would happen someday. Shem Mintz says, which set do you like better, 90 or 91? Jeez, this is a tough one, man. 
I would say currently probably 90, but maybe back then 91. I don't know. I bought so many of these. I mean, I bought a lot of, I bought a lot of freaking 90 tops too. That's a tough question. Dave Ringer says the pass is live. I'll super shot you $500 if you snort that dust. <laughs> oh, that is a tempting offer, Dave. That's much too tempting. I'm, I, I got to go ahead and forget that you said that, man. I could use 500 bucks right now to buy that freaking Mark Witten air card. <laughs> Do not tempt me with stuff like that, man, when I'm vulnerable. Chet Lemon, what's happening? Yeah, threw a wrench in the gears. We found the Frank Thomas No Name on Front, and then we decided to open 91 Tops to celebrate finding the No Name on Front. Bo Jackson with a very, oh, I thought that was a different kind of stain on there. Making us believe that someone did search it. Jay's opening says, what kind of insurance should we take out on a 5,000 count box of Sabos? Yeah, you definitely would want to get that insured. No doubt about it. Actually, to honor him and all you guys, where are they at? I had them next to me. I was looking at him before the break for good uh, good measure, and um, he failed us again. <laughs> Save 89 for deck, a big stack of them. Yeah, I was looking at those, hoping that he would give us some luck. RM says there are other witnesses on eBay. There are, but they're all... They're all uh, like ninety bucks. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out on it because, like I said, if you look in sold listings of that Witten, like one sold on there on December 29th for fifty bucks, and it was definitely a buy it now, and I missed it by like a couple hours. It's a Ripken, so like I don't know, I'll hold out for another one to be listed at like fifty or seventy bucks. I mean, I don't need it right now, but uh, it's one that I definitely would like to get. Honestly, I'd rather pull out a pack, but I'm definitely not going to spend a thousand bucks looking for the Mark Witten error card. I, I honestly thought about doing that, getting boxes of 91 tops and searching for that as well, making that new series. But then I was like, wait a second, like 91 tops boxes are usually always at least 10 bucks, between 10 and 20 bucks. Like, I can buy that card for a hundred. Like, the no name on front, you're not going to find that for probably less than, I don't know, 500 bucks or a thousand bucks. So there's actually justification in buying boxes of those, but the Witten error. Uh, I can't justify buying box after box of those looking for, especially with how rare it is. There's a nice Griffey All-Star. I haven't seen that one yet. As Chad Hawkins says, there is always plenty of commons for friends, LOL. Thank you very much, Chad. That's another thing I was thinking of, too. Chad sent me a list of, like, 90 tops and 91 tops cards he's after, and uh, that was definitely one thing that was on my mind as well was now I, I'm sure I found the uh, 91 tops cards that you need to complete the set. So I'll be able to send those your way once I go through these. Definitely 90 tops, too. I know I have all those because I have, like, freaking 10,000 of them now. <laughs> There's a gold cup card, for truth be told. First time seeing that tonight. I liked that one when I was younger. Dave Justice. Whoa, whoa. I smell foul play here. So you're going to give me two instant win game cards and then give me a checklist in the same pack. If I was a kid, I would be heartbroken right now. That is... Some BS. So whoever searched this box left us the Chipper Jones at least, so thanks. Truth be told, says boom, that's one of my favorite Justice cards. Well, if you don't have it, you need it, let me know and I'll send it to you. <laughs> Dude, blatant disrespect. Hot Boston Farmers is hot pack. And look who it is. It is John Wathen. Looking very merry that we uh, are getting screwed over here and not finding our chase cards. Steve Balboni. I'm pretty sure he used to call him Steve Baloney. Maybe I was an immature little kid. And Maddox. About time we found a Hall of Famer. That's not Harold Baines. Andy East is maybe a justice card, but this is an injustice box. Yeah, that Jones rookie was nice. Usually the cheaper Jones rookie you can buy for a buck. Sometimes less. Are you kidding? <laughs> What's going on? This is a bunch of freaking BS. Two of those again? So maybe somebody was after the Mark Witten error card and freaking... That Hal Morris card always creeped me the hell out. 
It's like he's like trying to smash that gold cup on his card. Now there's the ball right there, but quick glance, the gold cup almost overtakes it. Like he's like, I don't deserve that gold cup. <laughs> James R. Dude, it's like a kick in the nuts. Austin Farmer, it just turned into a hot box. Yeah, I used to hate Hal Morris. Eric and I both used to hate Hal Morris for no reason. Just like uh, Chris Sabo and everybody else. Uh, why couldn't your hand have been outside the border? I then I've been stoked. Pretty ridiculous air, but uh, I like it. Bonds all-star card. Hopefully, I'd like to see Bonds get in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully, it actually happens. There's a Donnie Baseball like that. Alex Cole, Chris Sabo's nemesis. Frank Robinson. Ark Back says, eat every piece of gum. You know what? I'm usually all about a good challenge and eating old gum, but uh, this has black mold on it. And if I ate that and adjusted black mold on every piece, then I'd probably be in the hospital. Then I wouldn't be able to afford that Mark Wooden error card anymore. So if it wasn't for that, then I probably would. Patreon Pirate, what's happening, buddy? Is there no instant win game in here? There isn't. Obviously, search Clemens, Todd Van Poppel. <laughs> Eat all that gum, you'll be in the ER. Yeah, no doubt about it. We have four packs left of the ultimate junk wax break here. <laughs> Jab is crazy, man. Yeah, I've lost my mind tonight. That Mark Witten, losing that Mark Witten uh, auction set me off, put me into a deep depression. There is good old Rock Reigns. Let them know it was in his back pocket on that swing. There's a Nolan Ryan record breaker. I haven't seen that one yet tonight. I haven't seen one Mark Witten freaking regular card. And we got three packs left. <laughs> J Jason M. It's medicinal. <laughs> Medicinal and dirty old gum. That would be pretty funny, though, if you're hospitalized for eating old gum and then you go up there. It's a nice BG. I don't remember ever really seeing that one. So, like, what happened prior to you being hospitalized? Like, the doctor asked you what happened. Like, yeah, I was eating a bunch of old gum out of 1991 packs. I wonder if he'd be like, well, did you pull the chipper rookie card? Or he'd probably look at you like you're an idiot. More so the latter than anything else. Who needs penicillin when you have 29-year-old gum, Andy E says. <laughs> Chet Lemon says they call, they called him Rock because he liked to collect minerals. That he did. Carlton Fisk, I always liked that card. Chuck Chicago says I lost an auction and ate gum from 30 years ago. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. That's kind of why we're doing this, because I lost that auction... And uh, instead of throwing a temper tantrum about it, I decided to just rip up a 91 Tops box. One pack left. And no sign of the regular Witten. <laughs> Cecil Fielder running at Fisk. Scary. I know that card always always made me laugh. There's that freaking Hal Morris card again. How many of that are we going to see? Like, Hal Morris might be a new bad omen. Jose Uribe. Uh, for who was asking about him earlier, Raphael Belliard. I hated Raphael Belliard when I was a kid, too. So this last pack is a real slap in the face, having to see how Morris and freaking Raphael Belliard. Nolan Ryan, it's about time we actually saw that card. Off center, pretty bad. <laughs> Paul L., how Morris on Bad Omen Watch. He definitely is. Ah, uh, no freaking Mark Witten. Not even a regular, a regular corrected version. I would have settled for that, even. So all that pure, pure fun, and we found the Frank Thomas, one Frank Thomas regular, regular rookie guard, and one Chipper Jones. Oh, well, it was still fun. It was fun to talk to you guys all again, too. We have done a live stream in like two or three weeks or whatever, so it's always fun to, to interact with you guys and talk to you. So thank you guys all for being here. You guys are the best. Tomorrow night, I guess we'll do it live again if you want to. 98 top series, too. Like I said, nothing crazy in here, but uh, there's a bunch of insert cards we can find. We're going to do that tomorrow, and then next week we're going to do 93 Bowman Jumbo Packs, looking for the Jeter. And then after that, hopefully we do some other crazy ones. Jay's opening says, same time next week for another round. <laughs> I'll keep you posted on that, man. I will keep you posted. Jem Mintz is someday I'll get to know now in front. I hope so, man. So, like, again, like I said, again, uh, Thanks again, guys, for being here. I appreciate it. 
see you tomorrow night for this, hopefully. But uh, enjoy the rest of your night, guys, and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.